This is the stock air conditioning that came with our RV. Can you hear how loud it is? Okay, here I am, the new one. You know, after 10 years of RVing, we just assumed that every air conditioning unit was rather noisy. Um, ours was noisy. Here, here, just, just listen. I mean, you really can't watch TV back here with that on. You'd have to have the TV louder than it's capable of going to be able to hear it over the air conditioner and the compressor. It's that loud. You can't really have a conversation. It's that loud. Just listen. You know, like we said, we thought they were all noisy until we met our friends Kathy and Les, and they told us about a new air conditioning unit they had put in that was very quiet. So we went out and uh, we saw it and we thought, wow, <laughs> wow. I shouldn't say we saw it, we heard it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, come on in and see this air conditioner, Mike. And so we did some searching, and uh, the name of the air conditioner is called Houghton, but it's really being sold mostly by a company called Advanced RV in Willoughby, Ohio. We know those guys really well. We've done many stories there. This is a low-profile air conditioner, which is typically used on Class B motorhomes, trailers, uh, Prevo chassis, Virtually across the board, it's a roof-mounted air conditioner, and this air conditioner is about 20% more efficient than the two most popular low-profile air conditioners. Well, this compressor is mounted in, on a special uh, spring situation so that it, it reduces the uh, vibration and thus reduces the noise when it's, when it's in service. So we did some checking and they're upfitting them on all sorts of different RVs. And the idea of having a quiet air conditioner, well. It sounded really good because then we can work in our rig when we have to work without having to turn off the AC. And uh, it just is nicer for sleeping and everything. I mean, we'd be sitting way up front here, the air conditioner's in the back, and we couldn't like record narration for a video like this because it was so loud and noisy. Now, before we show this, I've got a special favor to ask of you. Would you please subscribe if you haven't subscribed? Because that really helps us out with uh, Google and YouTube. And so, would you please, please, yep. please, please? When people subscribe, they show our videos to more people. So, you can help Jen and I out. We'd really appreciate it. And if you've already subscribed, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and click the bell icon. Then you'll know when we have new videos online. But back to our air conditioner. So we called Advanced RV and uh, yep, they had one. And uh, Jennifer sent me over there all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I made the trip from Michigan to Willoughby, Ohio. That's the train. I swear, every 20 minutes. There's two tracks. They're going in both directions all night long. Going to us. I 
I've actually had to turn the heater on. Look at that. It's, uh, well, it's up to 61 in here now. But the, the temperature last night, it was, uh, even right now, look, 40, 45 degrees. That's, that's cold. So I had to turn the heater on. I'm not ready to do that. And I'm uh, making my coffee this morning before they start to do the work. Seems kind of kind of strange to be putting in a new air conditioner when I'm actually having to run the heater, but we're heading south, so hopefully hopefully that'll, that'll make things better. You know, everybody, every time I do this, everybody says, where'd you get this? And um, I got it on Amazon, but they don't make it anymore. There's ones like it, it takes these little K cups and that's always kind of nice but uh, here we go make our make our coffee let the heater on oh well <laughs> it's gonna get warmer today it's supposed to be in the 70s today but it's, you know it's uh, first of October it starts to get a little little cool out that's just normal right time to head south All right, I've zipped my bed. Remember, these are the beddies I showed you here. Got a little zipper, and uh, makes it so easy. Look at that, huh? Jennifer would be proud of me. That was hers. I sat on that last night, so I'll make it look nice and neat. So, uh, look at that. Beds are made. She would be so proud of me. Yeah. The only thing was, is this was a. Uh, it was kind of a. <laughs> we were at a real angle. She never would have slept and I didn't sleep well. And did I tell you about the trains? really like this here they make electrical hookups available for you so uh, you can stay right in their parking lot we're gonna get some work done so I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I will be ready when they come for me It's on. Where is it? <laughs> it's, it's on right, right now and it's on high right now. 
is high. Is it here low? Let me bring it down to low. Running. So that is pretty amazing. How quiet that is. Yeah, it is. And it, I we hear that all the time when folks come in and they have it switched off. They say, I could finally speak to my partner now and, and hear them at nighttime. Yeah. You could watch TV. Yeah. Yeah. Take a phone call. So this is the world's most quiet and efficient air conditioner for an RV, right? Yeah. We've been using it on our builds for probably two, three years now. If anyone, I mean, we'll do whatever one, anyone wants on their van, but if they leave it up to us, this is the one that we, we go with. Now, the installation, it seemed pretty simple, but what took time was for everything to dry and set. You know, the cement that they use up on the roof to, to keep it in place. So the proof is in the listening, and uh, Mike, let's put it to the test. All right. Okay, here I am with the new one running. Now, I don't want to give the impression that, um, you know, that it's totally quiet, because look, you, you can hear it, but it is markedly more quiet, less noisy than the old one. And you can have a conversation, you can talk in a normal voice like this, uh, you could watch TV. And, and when you walk to the front of the coach, just a few feet away like this, you can't even hear it at all. So I think, I think the proof is in the lack of noise. It is in the lack of noise. Now, if you have an air conditioning unit that works just fine, leave it that way. If you're but happy if, with it, yeah. If for some reason you need to replace your air conditioning unit, I think you should look into what we did. Now, it, it's not, as we said, completely silent. When you're back there, you can hear it. You can hear it when the compressor comes on, but it doesn't wake you up. And uh, it's, it's, we're really happy. I will tell you it's expensive. Uh, the unit costs about 2,500 bucks, and by the time you put labor and everything in, because it's a pretty big installation job, you're talking about $3,500. Mm -hmm. But they call it the quietest RV air conditioner. And uh, by our books, it's right up there. There might be something quieter that we don't know about, but we're pretty happy with this one. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, stay in touch. Happy trails. Mm -hmm.